This video is in response to Calvin Stroud, who put a uh, $10,000 reward on anyone who could prove how you could build a building with a perfectly flat bottom on a curved earth. Um, in his example, he shows a very tiny earth with a very gigantic building. Um, if you put that to scale, it's probably a million foot long building on the earth and yes if you had a building that long with a perfectly flat bottom you would run into trouble but what calvin doesn't understand is scale um, the earth is gigantic and buildings are not a million feet long so in an attempt to get my ten thousand dollar reward right um i'm going to show you in a minute or two on autocad how this could work and I'm going to draw a ridiculously large building and uh, show you uh, why curvature is not an issue. All right, so first thing we're going to do is draw a circle 20,902,000, 20,902,000 feet radius. That's the radius of the Earth, roughly. Um, you know you can do the math and it's within a couple percent so layoff um anyway so we can't even see it so we zoom to extents as you can see radius 20 million nine hundred and two thousand diameters double that so this is in autocad an exact earth not an exact but a, the exact size of earth so the next thing i'm going to do and this is only for um make it easier for me, I'm going to draw a line that is exactly to the top of my ball earth. That means nothing, it's just so I can find the top of the earth, because as you can see when you zoom in, things get very flat. I wouldn't know if I'm over here, or I'm over there, it all looks flat once you get to scale. So the next thing I'm going to do is draw a building. I'm going to make it uh, pretty huge. Um, as far as building go, buildings go, um, I'm going to make it 3,000 feet by, I'll make it 150 feet high. So there's my building. <clears throat> I'm going to move it out here where we can get a look at it. Then I'm going to zoom to extents. And there's my earth. Where's my building? Where's my building? There's my building. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is move my building so it's perched right on top of my earth um as you can see well let me regen because the lines get wonky sometimes when you're dealing with scales like this in autocad so my building fits sits exactly on my earth so the first thing i'm going to do is go to the corner of the building i'm going to keep you're going to see me keep regening because as you zoom in and out at this scale uh it gets a little bit weird so regen makes everything accurate again and uh Anyway, so I'm going to draw a line, and this is only so I can dimension easily because it's hard on a curved surface to actually have a, a accurate pin, pick point. So there you go, five eighths of an inch. I'll take it out to sixteenths, thirty seconds. Uh, yeah, whatever. What it, we'll we'll leave it at five eighths. So on a three thousand foot building that is sitting right on the surface of a curved earth. We are going to have five eighths of an inch of drop off. In reality, this wouldn't happen because the, if you had a rigid building and you sat it like this, it would either crack in half or sink into the ground until the whole thing was in contact with the ground. So, anyway, five eighths of an inch, that's it. So, over 1,500 feet of building this way. And we have five eighths of an inch drop off. So the next thing I'm going to do is, if you watch his video, this is the example he gives. <clears throat> this this line, these are all perfect 90 degree angles. This is perfectly up and down. Um, this is it's very accurate. So what you're seeing is what you have. It looks straight up and down. It is straight up and down. So what he does, he puts a building like this on the Earth, where Everything is at this one side of this building is perpendicular to the center of the earth. 
So basically what's going to happen, and he shows a gigantic gap over here, but in reality, this is the gap you have over a 3,000 foot building. It's going to be double, you know, five eighths. So, or actually it's uh, exponential over here. So it two and five eighths inches. That's the gap you would have if you happen to put a building exactly like that on the surface of the earth. So that's how it's done. Um, you know, in reality, in, if you were building a building like this, you would, uh, you know, level the ground out and, you know, it would be down in the ground and all that. But if you were to just plop a 3,000 foot building on top of the earth, that's what you're looking at, roughly two and a half inches on one side, which is uh, completely doable. And I design buildings for a living. Um, in reality, uh, everything is perfect on paper. Um, in the field, when they're building these buildings, there's no corner that is 90 degrees. Um, nothing is perfect. Everything is a minute or sometimes a lot off. Um, I've had walls that, you know, varied as much as, you know, two inches, just over 10 feet. Um, you know, these are the problems we deal with. So um, in reality, a building is just going to naturally curve over the curvature of the earth. But just, you know, just to uh, prove his point or not pro just to disprove his point, um, this is what you would be dealing with in his scenario.